Temiskaming Shores is a snowmobiling hub to some of the best trails in Ontario. Whether you're passing through or you're using this place as a destination, it really does have it all. And that ain't no bull. I mean, seriously, I'd never steer you wrong. <laughs> it's getting utterly ridiculous now. Uh, better hoof it out of here. Being a hotel operator here in Temiskaming Shores is absolutely fantastic. Of course, we've got a long season. Uh, we always start in January and run right through to uh, March. And if we're lucky, April. Uh, some people call that lucky. We definitely call it lucky. But uh, snowmobiling is a very important part of our business. Uh, large, large, large customer base. And uh, we're centrally located, so it's a great spot. The riders we see up here is actually there's a, there's a varying degree. We, we've got some, uh, we call them the weekend warriors, uh, that they're coming from, you know, a, a four hour drive from uh, southern Ontario. They're riding up here, they're getting in on Friday night, they're, they're putting in a full day uh, Saturday. Typically they'll, they'll ride most of the day on Sunday, so we call those a week, uh, our weekend warriors. Uh, we see a lot of those, but we also see a lot of, uh, in this area, because you can ride for two or three days and not be on the same trail, we also see a lot of husbands and wives. Um, and in families. Uh, March break is a very popular spot in March because of course we're guaranteed snow here in March. So we see families. So we really do see a, a mix. It's not your typical um, you know, guys location. It's, it's a mix of families. It's a mix of, uh, of tours. Typical riding group, uh, we do see some large groups, but I would say probably on average between uh, four and, and eight is, is our typical group. Saddlebag touring is really important here. Because we are in the hub, so we're centrally located, so we're a day's ride from North Bay, we're a day's ride from Sudbury, we're a day's ride to Cochrane and Timmins. So this really is the hub. So whether you're coming from Southern Ontario and you start south, you stop here for the day and then you head further on. We're also the start of the Gold Rush Tour. So the Gold Rush Tour encompasses uh, Cochrane, Timmins, Elk Lake, Galganda, and we are the starting point for the Gold Rush Tour, which has been in existence for quite a while. Uh, this, it was basically the second tour in Ontario that was created as far as a, a loop tour. And uh, it's been very popular over the last probably 15 years, and it, uh, it continues to be one of, our, uh, one of our greatest selling features, is the Gold Rush Tour. Moose Loop is a very popular loop, and that's, that, that's what we call one of our local loops. So we have several local loops in here. And like I mentioned before, is when, you, when you're staying in our area, you can ride for two or three days and not be on the same trails every day, which, I mean, all riders love that. So the Moose Loop is one of our most popular uh, day loops for our area. Uh, most of the people in our area are uh, snowmobilers, ATV riders. Uh, we appreciate the outdoors. We live in northern Ontario. Lake Temiskaming, uh, the waterfront Inn is right on Lake Temiskaming. It's right in our backyard. We see the lake every day. It really is, um, you know, we're outdoor people and uh, we really do love snowmobiling. That's what it comes down to. We're in an area that's often referred to as the Triangle. Timmins, Sudbury, North Bay, and New Liskard's on, on the edge of that being on Highway 11, the Trans-Canada Highway. So people come here from all over Canada, North America to snowmobile. They either arrive by truck and base themselves out of here, or they can day trip. We're an easy day's ride from North Bay, from Sudbury, from Timmins. So it really is a central location. And as a result of that, we have lots of hotel rooms. Our trails are probably some of the most diverse in the area. We've got the snowmobile trails just north of Nilliskard that are farm fields, so you get the nice flat uh, rolling fields with lots of gullies that are, are fun to pass through. Right next door to it, we've got the Canadian Shield, so we're, we're, you know, we've got the rocky, twisty stuff. You get out further by Elk Lake, they're sand flats, so you're running through the forest, but nice, swooping, wide trails. Most of our trails are groomed about 18 feet wide, so they're, they're excellent size, and uh, you can travel a good distance in the day without having to go uh, really, really fast to do it. So my wife rides with us all the time and, and a couple of years ago she mentioned, boy it'd be nice if there was better spots to go to the bathroom on the trail. So we, uh, I was up in Cochrane, saw their warm up shacks, toilets, and I thought that's perfect for here. So we got some funding and we, we, last year we put one heated bathroom on the trail and this year we added two more unheated bathrooms. So there's places for the, the ladies and children and even the men to go to the bathroom on the trail because it's nothing like a, a ruined ride when you gotta go to the bathroom and there's nowhere to go. 
The city of Timber Spring Shores was created in 2004 by the amalgamation of the communities of Halebury, New Liskard and Diamond Township and uh, com created a community of about 10,000 people and, and, uh, and it's, it's enabled the communities to, to thrive due to the, the stronger base of uh, people that we have in the community. Well, in the wintertime, uh, snowmobiling is, is such a driver for this community. We realize thousands of snowmobiles over the, the months of winter and it keeps, uh, it keeps our tourism businesses alive for that season when uh, there is little other business uh, through this area, so we uh, thrive on that. We know that uh, winter tourism here, uh, snowmobiling is, is sort of the number one winter tourism activity. It impacts all aspects of the community. Uh, including the restaurants, the gas stations, all the stores notice that they get extra folks here in the wintertime uh, on snowmobiles. So it's something that we realize is a huge benefit to our community.